Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm talking again about Digisoft printing technology for our print-on-demand products. I had previously done a demo where I looked at a couple Digisoft products that were sent my way. Then I transitioned it over to Mick from Custom Cat who created, well, Custom Cat created uh, this Digisoft printing technique, and he explained how all of it worked while also showing off some of the um, final products. But in this video, I actually had an interesting idea. I said, I'm gonna compare Digisoft to what we get from Printful and Printify, probably the two most commonly used print-on-demand production partners, and we'll see what the quality actually looks like because Guys, like this Digisoft thing is is crazy. Like I'm just going to tell you straight up like it's going to blow your mind when we put them all side by side. So that's the plan for today's video. Why don't we get right to it? Now, before I get to the demo of the shirts, I just wanted to remind you guys that I did do a previous video on Digisoft. I'll link to it in the description in case you want to check that out, learn a little bit more about how it all works behind the scenes from the people who actually print these products for us. And also if you want to use Digisoft and blow your customers' minds because we all have kind of bec become accustomed to um, DTG prints, you know, the standard stuff that we're used to seeing if you've ever done sample orders. But when you use Custom Cat, you can actually fulfill, well, sell, and then they will fulfill Digisoft products right now. Okay, so I'll drop a link to Custom Cat in the description when you create your free account. And then, by the way, they integrate with the normal platforms, you know, Etsy, Shopify, two of the bigger ones. And I think they have like WooCommerce and uh, Big Commerce as well. Uh, and then they actually have some other ones that are possible through the order desk integration. I mean, if I, I still haven't done the order desk integration, but I'm pretty sure you can integrate with like Amazon Seller Central. You just have to do a little bit of uh, maneuvering there. But anyways, that's also a possibility. So check that out, guys. You can sell them on your stores just like normal. Look for the Digisoft tag. That way you know that that product will be printed with the Digisoft technology. And now, uh, actually one more thing I was gonna plug real quick, uh, the weekly giveaway, it's giveaway number 100, so make sure you enter that, we have extra prizes. Got my free eight day print on demand mini course that'll help you get started so you can connect Custom Cat with your new Etsy shop and sell Digisoft products. And of course my print on demand Facebook group, you'll find links to all of those in the description. All right, let's look at these products. Now before we get to the side by side comparisons, I wanted to show you one of the shirts they sent me and I'm really doing my best here to get close up and show you the detail in the print itself. So these really pop, like they stand out. It's almost like the print is a layer on top of the shirt instead of it kind of sinking in and blending in with the shirt, which creates like less of a distinct print effect. Here's just one more shirt that they sent me. It's got this metallic hand and it's hard to really show the detail of the hand. Like I'm gonna pause this video actually right here because I think when I zoom out it's a little bit more um, like evident how much this really pops it's almost it almost feels like the liquid metallic hand is gonna reflect like your you know you back to you almost as if it's a mirror when you see it in real life and uh, it's just not what I'm used to seeing when I think of um, print on demand products like the the design is so crisp and clear and actually I'm gonna in a, in a second I'm gonna read to you the best practices for creating Digisoft printed products. And now we're looking at all three side by side by side. Actually, I'll pause it here. So in the middle is Custom Cat's Digisoft print. On the left is Printful. And on the right is Printify. And uh, I'll show you a closer look at each of them. But just right away, can we just uh, appreciate that the Digisoft is clearly like popping and I apologize that I have two of them on a white shirt and then one on a black. I don't think that makes a big difference. Uh, ideally, I would have done them all in the same color, so that's my bad. But just check it out. I mean, the design, this like metallic statue, um, not that, you know, I don't think a customer would return the shirts printed from Printful and Printify. So again, Printful's on the left, uh, Printify is on the right. So this is the Printify shirt right here. I don't think they'd return it or be unhappy with it. I just think they'd be blown away <laughs> if they saw them side by side with the Digisoft printed uh, technology because it just, it shows every detail of the design, the contours, the, um, you know, the different colors really. And it makes it look like a 3D statue is actually like somehow embedded into your shirt. So extremely impressive guys. Uh, and what I'm gonna do now is read you the Digisoft best practices. 
So Mick from Custom Cat, who was featured in the previous Digisoft video, was kind enough to send me some best practices for designing for Digisoft. So I'm gonna read through them really quickly. Create art at print size with high resolution. Digisoft is able to capture significantly more detail than its DTG counterpart. Because of this, using a high resolution file will yield pretty incredible results. On the other hand, our high resolution output makes it a little more obvious when you use a lower resolution file. We recommend designing at print size with 300 PPI rather than resizing your images to fit the print dimensions. Use areas of transparency in your design for a softer hand feel. If you're looking for a barely there hand feel on your garments, you can use areas of transparency throughout your design to achieve a more lightweight print. A big block of ink will always feel heavy regardless of the decoration method, but Digisoft allows designs with areas of transparency to blend nicely with the garment, giving a much softer hand feel than other print types on the market. Use 100% opacity in your design elements. In order to ensure the most vibrant print colors, be sure to use 100% opacity in all your design elements. Similar to DTG, Digisoft uses a base layer below pigmented ink to help your print bind to the garment. When there isn't enough pigmented ink laid on top of that base layer, you may experience muddier print colors. Stick with 100% opacity for full vibrancy. Avoid transparent gradients. Opt for half tones instead. Just as you want to use 100% opacity in your design elements, you'll also want to avoid effects like glow, smoke, and other types of transparency, or sorry, transparent gradients that rely on reducing the opacity of your pixels. Instead, opt for halftones, which use dots of 100% opacity that reduce in size and density as they move further away from the main design elements. Gradients from one color to another will print beautifully on Di with Digisoft, but avoid gradients that fade from one color to transparency. Use background color to achieve distressing rather than relying on low opacity pixels. If you want to achieve a distressed look, try adding a white background layer behind your distressed design elements. This will allow you to achieve a scuffed appearance without compromising print quality. If you want to use more traditional distressing techniques, try removing semi-transparent pixels after for a cleaner result. That kind of reminds me of how um, Kittle does their distressed effect. Maybe that will translate um, really well into a Digisoft print. And last, ensure the edges of your design elements are clean and contain no stray pixels. Following the guidelines above will ensure that the edges of your design are clean, but it's worth mentioning again, anything that is included in your design will be printed with Digisoft. That means if you accidentally leave a few stray pixels in your design file, they will print. Similarly, if you resize your file from a smaller size, it may leave semi-transparent pixels from anti-aliasing around the edge of your design elements. The cleaner the file, the cleaner the print. And that remains true for all print on demand, but especially Digisoft, where it's like you're under a microscope because the um, print quality is so high. So guys, again, if you want to get started with Digisoft, just go ahead and sign up for Custom Cat for free and make sure when you're adding products to your stores that they are marked with the Digisoft uh, little like corner banner that I had shown you earlier. If you have questions, let me know in the comments below and please like and subscribe this, uh, like the video and subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you guys at the next one.